All right. What if I told you you can get 23 high quality, high protein, low carb meals for under $35? It is possible. And I'm going to show you today step by step. And this way you can stay in your budget while hitting your protein goals and lose fat at the same time. Just look how delicious these meals look, right? You get a heaping portion. You get tons of greens, tons of color with veggies, high quality protein, and it takes under 30 minutes to make. It is so simple, guys. Let's go shopping. Get some grape tomatoes. I like these better because they just taste better roasted. $4 for a carton. Baby spinach, $3.98. Sweet mini peppers, 5 bucks. Or you could get bell peppers if you like. And then these sweet onions, six pounds for $6. And I get three rotisserie chickens. They're five bucks each. Takes away a lot of the prep work, so I prefer that. Start off by cutting up your onions. I like to chop the head off and the butt off. And then I like to make a slight incision down the middle. And then I will take off the first layer. I don't like keeping the first layer. I feel like that has a lot of particulates and bacteria on it. Might not be true, but I just don't like it. And cut it in half and then dice it into slices like this. Please be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. So, you know, I'm a little less hesitant when doing that. But when I first started, I did chop my fingers up a couple times. So <laughs> be careful, my guys. Now we're going to move on to the next step is we're going to take a pan, spray it with some, you know, zero calorie spray. And then we're going to let the oven preheat at 450 degrees. And we're going to pop these bad boys in there for about 15 minutes or until they start to look a little translucent and a little roasted on top. Right? You're going to see me pop it in here just like that after it's preheated. Now, while it's in there heating up, we're going to get our rotisserie chicken and we're going to strip every single morsel of meat off the chicken. Okay, guys, we need this. This is our protein right here and it's delicious, very moist. And like I said, it takes away a lot of the prep work of getting regular chicken. Plus, it's very cheap. Five dollars. You can't beat that price. Take these mini peppers and dice it just like this. Once again, please, I cannot stress this enough. Be careful. I am wild. Okay. You got to do all of them. And then for the grape tomatoes, I just washed them. And uh, that's it. Now, you see the onions. They became translucent. And on top of that, they're a slight charring on top. I like that. It makes it taste good. Yeah, my camera would focus, right? <laughs> now, I pop the veggies in there. And you want to make sure that you distribute it evenly throughout because you don't want, you know, parts of it to be burnt and parts of it to still be raw. That's that's whack. Okay? And then once you put your veggies in there, spread it with your spoon. I didn't have my oven glove. I couldn't find it, so I had to use my hoodie. Um, and I spread it up and then afterwards I sprayed a little bit of the cooking oil spray on top. Nice and mixy mixy. You got a mixy mixy, man. I'm telling you right now. If you don't mixy mixy, you're missing out for sure. I'm also running dangerously low on this spray, but you know, I don't like to waste anything. So I'm squeezing out every little bit of it as much as I can. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do sometimes, my guys. Close that up. Let that settle in there for about 15 minutes and then put it on to broil for another five. Keep an eye on it. Once you start seeing it's burning too much, stop. Now you want to add a tablespoon of coconut oil into a big pot. Uh, this is the pot I got. I got it for $10 from Walmart. And then add all your shredded chicken in. Obviously, I have a ton of chicken. I have three containers full. So, you know, I'm just dumping it all in there. With the juices, don't waste those chicken juices. They're so delicious and they're full of flavor. And like I said, on this channel, we don't waste anything if we don't have to, right? Dump those bad boys in there. And then afterwards, you want to dump in your baby spinach. Uh, be a little bit more careful than me because I did spill some of the spinach outside. But, you know, obviously I picked those up, washed it, and put it back in. Um, yeah. And now you're like, oh, man, there's no room for those other veggies that's in the oven. No, false. So the thing about spinach is once you cook it, it just starts to simmer down really easily. I add a little bit of lemon juice in there just to give it a fresher taste. Um, you don't have to. And then I like to add some um, hot sauce. So it's zero calorie. Use any zero calorie of your choice. And then I add some garlic, salt, and pepper. I got this for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I add about two tablespoons of that. And the secret ingredient 
is zero calorie sweetener. I like to use aspartame. Um, I don't prefer stevia because it gives it a bitter taste. So I would rather choose like aspartame or monk fruit. And then I add in some cayenne pepper. It gives it a nice smoky, peppery taste. And overall, it's just very delicious. And you see how the spinach is already starting to cook down. And then I tried to add the veggies <laughs> using a spatula and a spoon. Try to be an innovator. I failed. So then I grabbed this bad boy. I found my oven glove, thank God. I grabbed the bad boy and I just tossed it all in there. And then you see the juices dripping down from the onion? That's pure flavor, okay? You want to get every single drop of that. That is literally onion gold. Onion oil. <laughs> it's good. It's very delicious. So get everything in there. And be careful because it's going to be steam, steaming up now, especially if, um, you know, you have the heat on high like I do because the heat is on high. Um, and as you can see, there's still the chicken carcass in the back from the meat I stripped. I'm saving that for a soup because, like I said, we don't really waste anything on the channel. Now, stirring this is what separates the boys from the men, right? Because this takes so much power because this is literally like, I don't know, like 12 pounds of food. It's so heavy. But make sure you stir it occasionally so that nothing burns on the bottom and everything becomes evenly cooked. And we're doing this for a little bit, so more juices are going to come out eventually. At this point, you just got to serve it out. You see all those delicious juices that came out. Um, you call it gravy, you call it curry, whatever you want, but it's very delicious, very cheap. And drop some comments below. Love y'all.